Once eliminated from most of the eastern U.S., elk are once again thriving in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. The best place to see elk in the Smoky Mountain National Park is here in Cataloochee Valley. Day in, day out, this is where your odds will be best. In 2001 and 2002, 52 elk were reintroduced to the Cataloochee Valley on the North Carolina side of the park. Part of our mission statement is to restore extirpated species whenever it's possible. And so now we've got a reintroduced elk herd on the landscape within the national park. Over 15 years, the herd has expanded and even spilled out onto lands beyond park boundaries. As a rough guess for how many in all of Western North Carolina, probably 140 to 150. Most days, people make the trek to the valley in hopes of spotting some of the elk. To say it's become a popular attraction is a bit of an understatement. The best opportunities to see elk are at sunrise and for a couple of hours before the sun goes down. They're most active in the early mornings and evenings and through the night. That's when they're out in the open fields. Viewing the animals can be quite an experience. We get people from all walks of life, many of whom have never seen an elk in the wild. They walk away taking that home as one of their most cherished memories from here in the Smokies. The initial release in 2001 was an experiment, and at this point it certainly appears to have been worthwhile. We've got this new large mammal out on the landscapes that's thriving, it's fulfilling its historical role in the ecosystems. Uh, I think it'd be hard to argue that it has not been a success. One byproduct of the reintroduction of the elk is that it has brought more people to Cataloochee Valley. That allows them to learn about the individuals who lived in this isolated place. A church, some houses, and a school remain in the valley, evidence of the people who lived here in the 1800s and early 1900s. Coming to Cataloochee is one of the most unique experiences a park visitor can have. And you can feel that sense of coming home, even if you've never been here before. Cataloochee was actually the largest community on park land before Great Smoky Mountains National was established. There were about 1,200 people that made their homes here. They had a prosperous life, as you can tell from some of the homes that are still here. It was a fairly self-sufficient community, surrounded by mountains rising to an elevation greater than 6,000 feet. Getting here from outside was tough then and now. It's not easy to get here, and that makes it even more a rich experience once you have come. With more than 10 million visitors a year, Great Smoky Mountains is the most visited national park in the country. Places such as Cataloochee, however, can still offer personal experiences without the crush of crowds. You have the valley almost to yourself, depending on the time of year you come. The park preserves a number of sites such as this in both North Carolina and Tennessee. The park protects over 100 historic structures, and that's the largest collection of log structures anywhere in the nation. So people can come back here and step back in time and experience what it was like to live in Southern Appalachia during the 1800s and early 1900s.